guys, welcome back to my channel. And today's video is going to be, I think, a Halloween look. Like, I think I'm finally going to do a Halloween look. Um, so, yeah, it's pretty cool. Also, I um, put up new lights. Because, you know, I was sitting on my knees, oh well. Because, um, you know, my quality has been sucking lately. And it's because of my lights. Like, my lights were big doo-doo, so... They better now, though. Bright. They so bright. Girl, that highlight. Oh, yeah. Before I get started with this, ooh, my cord's in the way of the highlight drawer. Sorry. Before I get started with this makeup, I need to, like, share with y'all this highlight because I love it. It's the Wet n Wild Loose Highlighter from their Zodiac Collection. It's in the shade Written in the Stars, and it's so pretty, but I will say, um... If you don't like glittery highlighters, then you may not like this because it is super glittery. And I do find that if you have texture, it will kind of make it pop. So, just letting you guys know about that. I personally, I love it. I think it's so pretty and super blinding and it was only like six bucks. So, okay. I'm really just going to be focused on my eyes. Like, I'm not going to redo like face makeup or anything. This is really just going to be focused on my eyes. And I kind of have an idea of what I want to do. And I practiced this look like um, about a week ago. And it honestly looked terrible. Like it didn't go as planned. I thought I was going to do way better on it. So hopefully it goes good in this video. Because um, I don't even have the video to like go off of. Because I use my phone to record. And like yeah. So, um, hopefully I remember the steps. It's not that difficult, but, I don't know. Zooming is, um, recreating the Nikki Tutorials video. She did, like, the bat winged liner. I thought that was super cute, and it's kind of simple, and I'm, like, doubting my skills right now. So, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do, is that. I'll try to, like, put, like, a screen record up here of, like, the her video, but I'm not following off of it in this video. Well, I am, but from memory. Like, I'm not physically looking at it, so. I'm going to be using the Morphe 35B and the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette for this look. And, like, you know, my eyeliner and stuff. Okay, kids. So, I'm going to, like, take off this eyeshadow that I have on. Reprime my eyes, and then we'll get into it. So, I'm back. And normally, you guys know I do set my eye base but in nikki's video she doesn't set her eye base so i'm not going to also if i get something like mixed up in this video i'm sorry again i'm not going off of the video i'm going off of my memory and that was like a week ago so sorry kids I'm with the 35b and i'm gonna dip into this orange color right here a super pumpkin-y orange color and she's doing a cut crease in the video so i'm gonna do the cut crease how she did it um normally you guys know i kind of do like dramatic cut creases like i do that thing but she kind of just stamped it on her crease so i guess that's what i'm gonna do as well oh <gasps> these are so uneven i'm sorry i just little blender this is a sigma blender and i'm gonna put i'm not taking any extra product i'm just kind of gonna blend this orange a little bit in the video nikki took a yellow and like fluffed it over top of the orange so i'm gonna take that yellow in the 35b with this like kind of tapered pointy brush and she said she barely touched her skin with it so i'm barely touching mine so I'm going to take this e.l.f. pencil brush and I think now I'm going to move into this palette. I'm going to take a little bit of Roxanne and Jax and I'm going to mix those together. And in the video, Nikki put that on the outer part and she didn't really pull it in, I don't think. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put that on the outer part of the cut crease and not really pull it into the inner corner. Guys, I'm honestly scared about the eyeliner part. Like, what if I, like, mess this whole look up because of the eyeliner? So, now, I'm going to take a little bit of Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Fair. 
And I'm gonna take this little tiny concealer brush. It's a e.l.f. professional concealer brush. And I'm gonna carve out my crease. And in the video, Nikki said the crease needs to be super sharp. So I'm gonna try to get it as sharp as I can. Ooh, this is not a good brush. Never mind, not using that. I'll just use this one, this kind of carved one. Curved one. This is the brush I normally use, but I thought I'd be different, but I can't. That was not the one for me. So now that we have those super uneven cut creases, I'm gonna go back in with that pencil brush and dip into Roxanne and Jax again from the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill palette. And I'm kind of just gonna freshen up this outer part where we put those colors. Now I'm gonna go back into the 35B and I'm gonna take the orange color and just like fluff it out, kind of pulling it up and down in the inner corner. Pulling it up on the outer corner and down on the inner corner. I'm gonna take the yellow on the same brush and soften it up once again. Okay guys, so here comes the part that can make or break this look. When I first practiced it, I used this Milani eyeliner. This is the Milani Stay Put Matte 17 hour wear eyeliner. And I like that eyeliner, but for this look, I don't think it was my best bet. And this Sigma liner never does me wrong, so I'm going to use this today. Hopefully, it gets the job done. I'm going to start this liner, like how Nikki does it. So in the video, she said when you're winging out your liner, you need to wing it, like, higher than this cut crease. And I feel like that's going to be kind of hard because I kind of pulled these out a little farther than I think I should have. But we'll see. Okay that and this is where i feel like i'm gonna kind of forget the steps i'm scared but next i think she pulled the liner in under the cut crease like that oh sis this is already looking bad no i regret i regret my decision i'm kind of flustered i think she makes a line right here and then okay i think she pulled it down like that and then filled it in. So that's what I'm gonna do. Dude. Okay. So now this is where I will probably mess up is drawing the little bat things because like she did them a weird way that I don't know if I'm capable of doing, but we'll see. So now I'm going to draw a little bat wing from my inner or my outer corner and kind of flicking it out like that. And then flicking it. No, that's like a whole circle. That's not even a uh, what? I'm going to make another one. Like that. And then fill it in. Right. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. I kind of, I feel like this aligner is a better bet than the Milani one. But I feel like I'm just messing up the bat wings. But uh, I'm going to fling this out like a little bit farther. Okay. And then I'm going to make my last little wing Ooh, that was too long that was too long ah. oh my god no these are too far apart i'm mad i'm so mad why can't i do anything um, what? 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 
it looks even worse up close like if you saw this up close you'd be like what is on your face like what is that um now that you have that super uneven not even close to a bat don't even know what it is um you're gonna dip back into your um morphe 35b and your little blending brush and you're gonna take the yellow I honestly don't even remember what she did on the lower lash line, so I'm just gonna like put colors there. So you're taking that yellow, you know, just fluffing it. Obviously, don't get it in the liner. Not like you can make it any worse, but just don't get it in the liner. Your pencil brush and dip into that orange and put that down there as well. At this point, you kind of just gave up because you realized that like you just need to stop. So, um,. You put that there and then you don't even add false lashes because it would not save the look like normally it does but you just don't final look um thank you for following this um me recreating the tutorials video because thank you so um i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe before you leave and more videos will be coming soon. Um, hopefully not flops because we know um, that's just my life. And like we don't need that here on YouTube. Um, we need something better. Can you zoom in? How do you zoom in? You can't. Okay. Okay, look.